Kristen Bell, like much of the population, may cry tears of joy when they encounter a sloth. I'm so sad that one's coming to your party. <laughs> <laughs> but imagine meeting their prehistoric pal, the giant ground sloth. Cue tears of fear today on Cool Stuff, Strange Things. Besides being adorably cute and totally squeal-worthy, President's sloths come in two and three-toed varieties and are closely related to anteaters and armadillos. They lead solitary, peaceful lives, hiding from predators in treetops, only coming down to find food, a mate, or relieve themselves. <gasps> only descending once a week to do so, by the way. <gasps> yeah, it takes a sloth about six hours to go to the bathroom and back, and about a month to digest a leaf. <gasps> But these quirky cuties are very different from their ancestors, the prehistoric giant ground sloth. The prehistoric giant ground sloth. These beasts were as intimidating as they sound. Paleontologists have identified fossils of at least 23 types and sizes of prehistoric sloths, with the largest being the Megatherium, giant beast in Latin, measuring 20 feet in length and weighing in at a whopping seven tons. That is rhino-sized. That's rhino-sized. They also had the capability of walking on two feet, so walking rhino-sized. Not so cute anymore. Early on, it was believed that this behemoth used its large claws for climbing trees, but really what treetop could have held such a monster. Later, scientists realized giant ground sloths led a subterranean lifestyle, using their large, powerful claws to dig. Believe it or not, tunnels excavated by giant ground sloths in South America still exist today. Some are simple shafts, while others are complicated works of underground engineering, with branching passages that twist and turn to form networks. The longest stretching 130 feet. Giant claw marks can be found on the walls thanks to their great strength, which is another contrast to their cuddly cousins. While today's sloths may seem like they have superhuman strength and limbs of steel clinging onto trees with their death grips, they're actually only 25% muscle. This lack of muscle mass means they can't even shiver when they're cold. With its wolverine-like claws, towering heights, and path of destruction, the extinct giant ground sloth of doom seems like something out of a B-grade sci-fi flick. So next time you come across what seems to be a sweet, slow, and steady sloth, make sure you bring some backup. I'm Sabrina Seek, and I'll be back next week with more cool stuff and strange sloths.